need you to like get firmly on the team here. I'm not liking this wavering spirit I've been feeling since you got in these walls. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha aka Geek XX Chic, and we're back with another reaction to The Walking Dead World Beyond. We're now into episode eight, which is called Returning Point. Stakes are now very high because they know that Portland is next on the list of places to be wiped out by this terrible plan and they're against the clock because basically it sounds like they want this to happen sooner than later. Jadis is on their tail. There's just a whole lot of stuff going on right now. We're definitely seeing things culminate now as we're getting closer and closer to the finale. So I'm ready to see how they're going to get out of this because I honestly am not sure how they're going to be, uh, be able to dismantle this plan, take down Jadis and even begin to take control back from all of this when they're in such a place of disadvantage. So we're gonna get to this episode, but before we do, if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it and you think of hitting that subscribe button. That way you'll be uh, notified when I do more reactions to this show. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. And hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd say it's almost, isn't it time for you to just go ahead and hit that button? Cause look, you're already here. You might as well join the fam. All right guys, with that out of the way, let's get into the episode right about now. Oh wow, we we have time for a flashback? So what's wrong? I'm dying. It's my kidneys. I might not have much time here. Ah. Uh. We have plenty of doctors here. Medicine, dialysis equipment. That's very common. It's like, why didn't you mention that before? I'm not asking for anything in return. Impossible. What would you have to gain? Exactly. Mind of dealing with whoever your lesser successor would be. I can't imagine their artistic talents would hold a candle to yours. Really? It's about the art. <laughs> okay. Too good to be true. But if I was dying, probably would have struck a deal with the devil too. So now we know how the deal was struck. Oh no, he's got to deliver this news. I'm so sorry, Bo. And she knows. She knows immediately. She just knows. Ugh. But this is what's gonna give them this, the skin in the game to go up against the Civic Republic, right? So you're talking about an escape? No, I'm past talking about it. The plan's already in motion. Let's do it! Time for adventures! How can we live in the long term? I mean, how can we possibly find facilities? I realize this is a giant Oh my path. god! You just don't want to give up your nice five the large screen TV and comfy bed? But you'll just kill millions, okay. If we stay, we become a party to all they do. Right? Or they kill us. I'm working to stop them. <laughs> the two dudes are like, you know, we can live with that. My, my room's pretty sweet. Is this uh, you, Silas? Okay, we're working together. I guess y'all had a good talk. You're the one part of all this I don't agree. Oh, <laughs> Silas is just standing in the back like a creeper, like, go on. He could have at least pretended to look at the wall or something. Almost everything's packed. Good. Mmm, someone's got a little spring in her step, a little glow in her skin. <laughs> Tell her that you know the son of the general. Quickly, grab the general's son. That's the way to make sure y'all get out of there safely. We do whatever we have to do to make sure we win. She's dead ass. I hope, I'm gonna need you to like get firmly on the team here. I'm not liking this wavering spirit I've been feeling since you got in these walls. She had me do the lion. Lila did it to herself. Oh! Oh, now we know exactly where Iris gets it from. But she killed people and made me think I did it. Yeah. But she was just doing her job. Mm. Went to shit. He's, He's allowed to be mad about that for a while. You on the inside that tell you everything you do is in service to the greater good, that what you do today can help create the next 500 years. Indoctrination is real. Exactly. You were taking me down that path. Mm-hmm. You were going nowhere. Rude! Just like me. No, let's not put us in the same boat. It's interesting because they both have good, like, they both have valid points because the military is like that. They are all about indoctrinating their soldiers into believing that what they do, going into another country or another zone and killing people is what they have to do. And it's for a noble cause, even though morally, most of us know that Killing is wrong, no matter what's going on, you know, unless you're trying to defend yourself, literally. So, but on the other side of things, dude's got to realize that Silas is right. She did know she was doing wrong, and that's why she felt guilty the entire time she did it, and why she still feels sick now. Your mother's psychological profile of him indicated he would fall in line, keep his family safe. 
starting to wonder if her report was wrong. Jadis, can you go somewhere, please, and, like, get some hair extensions and leave me alone? This is about stopping the rot before it spreads. Showing Dr. Bennett what happens to one or both of his daughters. If he steps out of line. Okay, Jadis. <sighs> Jennifer, I'm afraid you're going to have to kill Jadis. Rick should have done it. Sean almost did it. It's time to end it. She was out there because of me. No, that's not true. That is a little. I was dying. But... It's no one's fault except CRM. Let's go kill them. And now we could lose everything. We have to assume that the CRM knows my sin trespass. That our non-aggression pact with him is nullified. Sorry. It's not safe for us here. Gotta go. Any of us. That's a true leader. You see? She should be grieving right now. And she is. But she's thinking about all y'all. And you wanted a non-confidence vote. I'll step down as your leader. They're all like, um, we'd like you to stay, actually. <laughs> I promise you, if they make it there, they are not going to want Mr. Whiny Pants, because there's no way he would have had the balls. Five Felix and Dots spread the word. Get everybody in place. Okay, I'll meet you there. I cannot believe you're trying to save your boyfriend right now. I will have respect for you if you grab the sun, because that is leverage. Initiate standard evacuation drill protocols for facility civilian personnel. Yeah, Jadis is not stupid, unfortunately. Just evil, like her haircut. I just need you to trust me, okay? <laughs> Let's go make out! Does that work? Tell me what's going Scum. on. Scum! Building by building, wing by wing, room by room, until you find where they're hiding. Dude's like, I really just planned on playing some video games this weekend. I hate you. What's going on? Welcome to the party, Leverage. Our plan doesn't work without you. Hey, welcome to the bio container. Oh, thank you, Hall. Your name actually is meaning again. Don't feel sorry for him. He probably would be down with his father's plan. And even if he wasn't, you think he's going to go against daddy right off the bat? Even Luke Skywalker had issues with that. Let's reinforce that painting. Still shot as a fail-safe, treated by the lockdown. <laughs> Don't smirk. Not yet. You really think you're gonna break through an entire floor in two hours? Y'all better be strong, strong. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Oh, what's the matter? You haven't seen the dead up close? It's one way. What is this? What are those things doing in here? Oh, you didn't know? What kind of things? Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. My dad would know about it. Exactly. I'm glad you know that. Wait, is that why you took me? Because I'm my dad. There was no other way. You're a smart one! Okay, we're gonna love it. And if you don't get it, then what? You go in there with them. You feed me to them? Yes! Oh my god, you're so smart! This is why you're top of your class. <laughs> Come on, I was still looking at him like that. It ain't his fault he was born to a dictator. Used to be believed there's a lot been going on here that's off the books. Knew that little jerk would be a, didn't I say? He's saying that she and her community have been actively working with the Bennets against us, harboring them, planting them inside the complex. I knew that little bitch was gonna do something. I knew it. There's not gonna be an investigation. An investigation <laughs> should take time. She's like, um, we went out entire cities. Why would we talk to people now? Ew. Immediately. You know you have to kill her, right, Tuck? Like, we've already killed innocent people. Jade is, Jade is not innocent. Or get her, him to kill her, then kill him. Yeah, I like that better. Y'all need to move a lot faster. Taking everything but the kitchen sink. I told y'all should have moved faster. Damn, now they've got leverage too. Look, we're just a bunch of painters, man. We do portraits, sometimes nudes. Is that what you want? Because we can make some nudes. I could tell them about you. I should. She's been playing both sides the whole time. This little kill him! But then you have until Warrant Officer Stokes comes back to figure out a way that you can. You really think she can't kill you? And make it look like an accident? Time's almost up. If you don't do this, you're dead. I hate this guy. Thank you! Oops! What the hell did you do? Stitches get stitches! I'm impressed by the Globe Sculpture Lieutenant Colonel Commission from you some years back. Oh my god, we've got time for a conversation! But it doesn't portray what is. You don't see it. You can't. God, okay, never mind. I'd rather die than listen to you talk anymore. I give up. God. You don't have enough bullets. I'm so sorry. Hey. 
Hey, this happened the last time when he was with Percy and just kind of fading in and out there. Is this his happy place? I was about to say, you do not have enough bullets for all of them. Oh, I was like, when is Silas and his buddy gonna show up? Something tells me the husband ain't gonna make it though. Okay, somebody's like, yes, all that video game playing is coming in handy. Oh, geez, okay. I was about to say, thank you, people. You're gonna have to get up. Y'all wasting all this ammo and hitting absolutely nothing. Thank you. Grenades make sense. Grenades. Yep. So many walkers on their way. Grab the trucks. Let's go. Ready for what? War. Ah, damn. Didn't I say he wasn't gonna make it? What's that C4? Ooh, I was like, I don't think y'all gonna be able to dig your way out, so. Tell me where you're taking me. Percy, what about him handle? She's like, don't you talk to my man. <laughs> the battle of the boyfriends. Oops. They knew sealing that containment door would buy them enough time to escape into the old mining tunnels. Why is she so smart? It's annoying. Every scrap of knowledge. Good. Progress. Good. We built since, since the end of everything. Oh well. This could be the second end. If it takes out that haircut, I'm for it. They've been safe for too long. They've forgotten too much. This is an opportunity to make them remember. You don't know anything about anything, Jadis. Safe for too long. You were living in your weird art community for how long before Rick's people showed up? Shut up. You're not as badass as you think you are, girl. All right, guys, that was episode eight of The World Beyond. And yep, the stakes just keep getting higher and higher this season. They somehow came up with a pretty, pretty good escape plan here in a very short amount of time. I mean, building plans showed up out of nowhere. We got mining tunnels. I mean, hey, we got a lot of plot armor going on here, but I'm not mad at it because how else were they going to do this? They were way too small of a group to be able to actually do anything like as far as fighting their way out. But so far, things seem to be going well, except, of course, we saw that back at the little art commune. I knew I knew that little jerk was going to turn in them. I knew it. I could feel his snakiness. Ugh, I'm just glad that he ended up getting exactly what traitors get. But unfortunately, I do think that Jadis is definitely on to the fact that Jennifer is not quite as with her as she's pretending to be. My guess is she's just kind of keeping Jennifer around to see like how long she's going to play this out. I mean, if Jadis was smart enough to figure all this stuff out that she has so far, there's no way she's not seeing through the fact that Jennifer has been very, I wouldn't say she's wishy-washy, but you know, she's saying one thing, but her body language is definitely saying something else. And I think the biggest tell that she gave up, unfortunately, was killing the little traitor. So yeah, I think that Huck's still in a very precarious position as well, but she needs to be where she is. Like she told earlier in the episode, they still need someone within the CRM to start figuring out how to get this going. Because it sounds like the military military and the government are not on the same page. I thought they were, but clearly this is totally a military operation and they're just feeding the Civic Republic what they need to appear, I guess. But at this point, things are, yeah, definitely dicey for our group here. I mean, they're halfway through their escape plan, but again, if they know where all the exits to the mining tunnels are, are they going to be able to get out? And then of course we see that back at the, the art commune, we lost a few people. I'd have to say that overall there was actually pretty few casualties, but of course one of them being Huck's husband, but like, I said, I could just tell when he came out being all kamikaze, I was like, he gonna die. I'm just assuming. Maybe he does make it. I mean, a belly wound can be recovered from. No idea. No idea what's gonna happen at this point or how we're gonna keep going. I feel like we probably are gonna lose somebody else. I'm just not sure who that person is just yet. So this is a pretty good episode, guys. I'm liking how we just keep mounting up the stakes and it really makes me wonder how we're gonna end out this season. And it's crazy that we only have like two episodes left now. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next episode.